Hi, I'm Chris from Archimedia Accounts, and today we're going to get into some tracking categories in Zero, how to set them up, and how to absolutely smash your business finances with them. So let's get straight into it. So let's say, for example, you want to split your profit figure by locations because that's kind of how you look at things in your business, right? So it's really important to think, how do we look at things in our business? So for an example, an accountancy practice might split their business in terms of the bookkeeping that we provide for customers, the accountancy services, and the, and the uh, tax services that we provide to customers. So now I'm in the demo company inside Zero, and you want to go to accounting, and then you want to click on advanced. And then you want to go on to tracking categories. You might want to star it if you want it up in your favorites. But essentially what we're gonna do is, so you can see there's one built in here already. You've only got two tracking categories that you can add in zero. Um, so region is one, for example. I mean, you can change this. Um, and then, but it's a good one to have. So east side, north, south, and west coast, we can add another one like the Midlands, for example. Um, and then you can just add as many as you want and just hit the save button. All right, uh, then we can add another tracking category, for example. So we've already got region, uh, like I mentioned before, type of client, type of customer. And then um, let's let's split these in terms of um, large customers, medium customers, and small. Okay, and then we hit save on that as well. So now we've got two type. We you know we've spent a lot of time to determine. The, how we want our reports to to show up in zero because like I said before you don't want to start messing around with the data until you know that how you want it how you want it kind of chopped up in zero and if you ask any sort of financial professional they'll say to you that this is probably one of the biggest things that you can do to improve the richness of your forecast of your of your of your reporting So now if we if we hit uh, the plus sign here to create a new sales invoice, for example, um, you know, we can you can select someone like this Abby Wells here, the date, just like you would normally, you know, this person's gonna buy some cheese from us. Um, and it's a thousand pounds, et cetera, et cetera. You're used to all this. And now what you'll notice is we've got these extra two headings here. Uh, the region and the type of customer yeah so if we select a, a drop down menu obviously you can choose none and uh, if you don't actually want to track that particular uh, this particular transaction but if you put this person's in the Midlands so we do want to track that and they're a type of they're a large customer um, so 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 that and then you just hit approve just like you would in any other invoice obviously I've not put all the the details in So I've headed over to the profit and loss account here in Zero, and as you can see, um, you know it's just kind of business as usual. This profit and loss account that you'll already know how to use. If you want to know the some some, if you want some tips on how to get the most out of your profit and loss account in general in Zero, then check out this video that I'm putting here above. But now we're going to get into how to use tracking categories within this PNL. So if we go, if we hop over to here, click this tracking button, and then obviously we've got, we can choose from any any of these tracking categories. So you can choose from, you know, if we want to look at companies that are just based in the South and the Midlands and that are just large customers, we can do that. Um, you can select any one of these tracking categories. Uh, I'm just going to choose customers that are based in the South, and I'll hit apply and then update and it'll show me here. So as you can see, this is the profit and loss account, just the data for the for our business performance based in 
the south. So if I was to add another tracking category to this PNL, a hit there, a hit region, a hit north, for example, and east side, let's say as well, if I hit apply and update, what that's going to give us, like you can see, is three columns where all the data is in there. And it's really, really great because you can then obviously add um, the customer type as well. Now what we want to do is think about how we can use this data. And first of all, one, one of the things I want to tell you is that you can use other apps, you can use Zero's tracking that we set up here in other apps. So if you use uh, reporting apps like Fathom, for example, which is a great reporting app to set up a budget and a forecast on for your business. So say you want to project data into the future and see you know, what, what impact on our finances making certain decisions might be, might take. So say, for example, we increased our revenue by 20% of a certain type of product and then we had to hire two staff and um, a couple of vehicle buy a couple of vehicles and add an extension to our factory then you can put all that forecast data into fathom and it draws it all from zero and then you can see what impact those decisions have on your profit and on your cash and on your balance sheet so fathom's great if you want to uh, find out more about fathom um, i'm going to do a future video on fathom but the point is that you can use these tracking categories that we've set up in Fathom itself. So it's you can sort of switch them on and off. So setting these up in Zero means that you can use them in other apps. Another really uh, useful app to be able to use these tracking categories on is Dext. I've talked about Dext before. It's a you you most likely know it. It's an app to send purchase invoices expenses invoices into zero so it's really easy sort of take a picture or you have an email address to forward invoices onto so you can just kind of ignore them and just send them off to your accountant and bookkeeper um, but the point is that you can we can set up these tracking categories with indexed they link to zero so we, when we're entering purchase invoices into dext they can be tracked and go straight into these tracking categories within Xero. Um, and the other thing that if you don't want to use a, an app like Fathom and you just want simple budgeting, um, Xero's budget feature uses these tracking categories as well. So you can see how well you performed against each one of these tracking categories um, in, inside your budget. Mm -hmm.